Woody Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Sakamoto Days chapter 128. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored and not mean sponsored by Shueisha and not mean sponsored by Manga Plus and not mean sponsored by Visit. Considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? But if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal links are in the description box below. So, first off, um, for those of you that don't know, there is a um, recently opened Sakamoto Days anime Twitter account, so... It's coming. It's only a matter of time before a Sakamoto Days anime um, adaptation is announced. I'm really excited for it. I am just hoping that um, either like Bones or IG or Trigger get it. Those three are the ones that I would want to have um, Sakamoto Days' anime adaptation. But at least for me. And if it's Bones, it's got to be the uh, Mob Psycho 100 team. It can't be any other team but them. At least in my opinion. Anyways, um, last chapter of Sakamoto Days, I was really let down because I was hoping for a, a Double H bro ship after everything was said and done that, you know, Hayo and Heisuke would go on missions together and they would just, you know, have like an amazing bro ship and order and nah, it just is not happening. Um, but I gotta say, I went out with like a cheat though. He at least took a bitch's arm. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to uh, this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Convergence. Master Nagumo, I bear a message from JAA headquarters. What? 30 minutes ago, order member Master Hayo died in a battle with an enemy in the capital of Thailand. Nagumo's like, are you fucking for real? Yeah. Yeah. And yes, I am going to be taking this panel of, um, of Nagumo and be using it on Twitter. I, because this facial expression is everything. The details of the enemy are unknown. Floaters are on the way to investigate and retrieve the body. The ex, uh, executives want um, uh, order members to address the issue ASAP. In this world, the first to die are those who lack talent. It's the ones who are good people. Hmm. This quote is interesting. I want to think about this, this quote, fam. In this world, the first to die are those who lack talent. It's the one who are good people. And just think about those like who have died young. That is very, very true. It is. Especially in manga. Oh my god, is it true? Huh. But I like this quote. I like this. And I'm going to save it. This was definitely going into the files. Rest in peace, Haya. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. Sakamoto, his suitcase currently on his way here. Glad. Um, good. I'm glad he's okay. That's weird. The guy doesn't usually use the motocons. Mm-hmm. know what that means he, he, he's uh, it's it's serious we've arrived Ooh, it sounds like we've arrived it's sound um it should be around here the abandoned warehouse uh district from wu-tang's map uh slurs out there somewhere here we go Ooh, money don't give off so much bloodlust we're not here to bow to the death huh our mission is to arrest slur first we'll use shin um first we'll use uh, shin's enemy tracking abilities to infiltrate the facility uh, we'll wait for uh, when Izuki's alone. We want to avoid battle as much as possible, especially be extra wary of that uh, silver-haired guy, Gaku. If you come across him, run. What's his deal? He wields an iron rod and he's super tough. 
He's, he pretty much obliterated Kanto headquarters single-handedly, and our current level were no match for him. Same goes for a slur, um, uh, Izuki, that is. He wields a steel whip with blades on it. It's got a radius of more than 12 meters. It was so fast at Kanto HQ, I couldn't see it. They're that tough? Uh, can we really arrest them? I have a plan. Yeah, it's not like we're showing up empty-handed. First, I've got to find their lair in the abandoned warehouse district. Uh, Shane, can you detect them? Yes. Ooh, yes, I'm picking up their voices. Well done. Um, they're about 200 meters southwest. I think they're inside that old warehouse with the gray roof. Uh, do you know how many enemies there are? We're too far to get a clear count. I think four? No, five? No, this voice. So Kuminomi has already brought us a victory. The other members are already on their way to Japan. It's about time we headed out too. Of course I'll miss this old warehouse. You don't have to wait for me, Kashima. Well, I wanted to speak with you alone. For the last several years, I've trusted you and followed you, but there's something I wanted to reaffirm before we enter all-out war. Ooh. You said that you will uh, build a new regime after we wipe out the JAA, but what sort of world will that be? Ah, that. A new regime? No, that wasn't the right expression. I'm not going to do anything. What? I wouldn't interfere. Uh, the new situation that emerges naturally will be the best scenario. That is a little bullshit, and you know it. <laughs> but if we're essentially letting assassins run free, then what will happen to ordinary people? For example, Article 23 in the JA regulation states no people other than the target shall be killed. Without that rule, there are people who would kill 100 innocent bystanders in order to wipe out a single target. Without the JAA's oversight of assassination targets, anyone who has money can kill whoever they want, uh, the righteous, even a child. Yes, once we destroy the JAA's regime, um, assassins will be uh, um, a more part of ordinary rule. Yes, once we destroy the JAA's regime, assassins will be a more ordinary part of life. But you said to, um, this was to achieve divine justice. Mm, everybody's version of justice is different. Lately, I haven't understood what you're thinking. Sometimes you seem like a completely different person from when we first met. I know. We, you tried to use that clip. Clairvoyant. Oh my god. I know. You tried to use that clairvoyant. I can't fucking talk. I'm sorry. I know. You tried to use that clairvoyant boy to investigate me back at the lab, didn't you? Master Slur, I... Oh! She is. So you're a slur. Uh, so you're a slur. The man who killed Rion. Oh... Here she is. So, but this, hold on a second. Hold up. So not even Azuki knows the cow's alive. Well, so that didn't... I just proved that the previous theory I had. Unless um, she was undercover. Which would be very interesting, but I don't think that's the case. Rion, she's... Hmm... Interesting, dude. Slur doesn't know. He doesn't know. This will be very interesting to see where we go from here. Oh my god, he doesn't know. He doesn't know that Rion is still alive. remember what was said a while ago that Rion is alive and doing dirty work so hmm. 
Things are getting more interesting here. I feel like Rion, I'm just, my gut is telling me Rion is working undercover. Just something is telling me this. Ken, I could be wrong, but I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan's Inc. Um, also, I want to know what you guys think of, uh, um, before, what do you guys think of Slurs uh, slash Bazooki's plans? It very much is similar, pardon me wants to say it's kind of similar to Fukuchi, where, like, on paper. Like Fukuchi said in, in Bungo Stray Dogs, he didn't give a shit what happened afterwards to an extent. He just wanted to dismantle all the world's governments because he blamed that for, uh, he thought that would stop all wars. Um, but ultimately went in execution. Nah. <laughs> nah, what it took to require, to um, execute it and all that, nah, it's, it's different. But... Hmm. Yeah. It seems like someone is going to be turning. But without the JAA, the assassins are going to be, it's this is going to be mercenaries. They're, that's what they're going to be. It's just mercenaries. <laughs> but it's going to be complete anarchy. At least here anyway. I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. I love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and keeping so we can keep bringing you more um, uh, Sakamoto content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our cash at PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!